Hey guys, it's been a while and I'm happy to be back making content for you. This time I want to speak about three new things in Hattrick. One that was recently implemented, another that's currently ongoing and the third that we could expect pretty soon. So let's start. Hello everyone, I'm Papa Mish and it's been way too long since my last video. It's been a busy period with work, parenthood, deep masters run and even the flu, but I'm very happy to free up some time to talk about Hattrick news. In my next videos, I'll be covering the future coach controversy and reviewing this season's Hattrick masters, but before that I wanted to make a quick update to the new features in Hattrick. I'll be covering three things the new design for the world page, the quick elections for the new countries and the upcoming features for the supporter package. Last week, the world page got redesigned to make it more informative and more interesting. Let's go over the main changes. At the center of the page, we have all the international competitions. There's a separation between the ongoing competition. For instance, we see that the national teams at round one, which means it's the qualifications and the next competitive match will be today. And the under 20 is at the World Cup stage um, at round three, and the next competitive match will be at December. The Hatchik Masters is already finished for this season, so it states that the upcoming competition for the Hatchik Masters will be played next season, at February 2021. Another nice addition is the reigning champions. In one row we see all the champions that currently won the major competitions in Hatchik. So China won the World Cup, uh, Germany won the Under-20 World Cup, and we have the champion of the Hattrick Masters and the Supporter Week trophy. Spoiler alert for my Hattrick Masters video. The next change is the press announcements. So at the end of the world page, we have all the press announcements for the under 20 and national teams. Up until now, if an NT would make a press announcement, it will be only seen on the NT page. And now, any coach that will make a press announcement, it will be seen on the world page. It will bring more people to your anti page. So I really hope the coaches will make use of it. Maybe some friendly trash talk or uh, blowing some steam after a random result or thanking their staff members for a great job. Make sure to do it and bring more people uh, involved in for the anti teams. I don't know, maybe uh, the teams playing the Hedgehog Masters, they're... Uh, press announcements could be seen as well. Another nice change is for the sidebar. So we have a separation for the international uh, competitions, the club competitions that we, we have uh, direct links for the links, links, link, links for the Hatchick Masters, Leathers, uh, Supporter Week Trophy and Generation Trophy for your team and also the domestic competition. Secondly, is the major under-20 announcement that Hattrick released yesterday, saying that all the new 16 countries that due to play in the next under-20 World Cup format in January will get blitz elections. Since of today, everyone could appoint himself to be a candidate for the under-20 coach position, and next week the election will start. After a week, a coach will be appointed. The under-20s have already been created, and the new coaches will play a major role role in building strong foundation for those new countries. They'll have to scout all the top players in each position, get in contact with the managers and team training them to make sure that the players will develop properly. No friendly or competitive matches will be played at all until January. They will only scout the prospects and build the foundation for the next campaign. I know that most of the new countries have designated federation, scouting players as soon as from the youth academy, and probably the, team, the countries that's been around for seven seasons could produce strong uh, players to even play competitive campaigns, while the newer countries will might go for uh, giving experience for the next generation. But the election will be very, very interesting and you could probably guess a lot of managers will want to be the first coach for one of those new countries. So uh, my uh, question to you, uh, which one of the 16 countries do you think will have the most amount of candidates trying to be the first coach? You could write your comments, uh, you could write your answer in the comments while I'll go and see how many candidates since this morning, each one of the countries have. So please write me the answer. 
since this morning, the country with the most amount of candidates is San Marino with 11 candidates. And before we go to the next topic, a big shout out to a good friend of mine, Pib Valderrama, Ernesto from Argentina. He is playing in Congo since day one, and he's also scouting, scouting for a lot of different under 20s and NTs. And I see that he is being a candidate for Congo's first coach. I really hope he'll get elected because he's a stand-up guy and I know he'll make really, really good work for Congo. So, fingers crossed, Ernesto. Hope you win. Once a year, Platinum and Diamond supporters could suggest ideas to be implemented as part of the new features for the supporter package. Then the developers will take the best ideas that they could implement and start a pool uh, which the supporters could vote for the idea that they like to be implemented the most. For instance, last season, the idea that won was the new training planner that was implemented for supporters and for everyone else for uh, some extent. And we had only 900 uh, managers actually voting for this. And this year, uh, we had a lot of interesting new ideas and Hattrick took the best ones and divided them into five different packages and started a poll two days ago. I want to uh, add this section of the video to introduce the different packages that could be implemented for as part of the supporter and for everyone else for the new update and also to encourage more managers to go and vote uh, because every vote could make a difference. I'll go through all the different packages and then I'll cast my vote at the end. So let's see what were the five different packages that could be implemented as part of the new supporter package. The first one is a training planner package. So here we will have a more accurate track of the players, uh, their training based on the amount of minutes that they played. Then we could create uh, multiple training planners to compare them. And here it's something nice to create and use custom player as part of your training planner. So if you are uh, thinking about buying a player and see how will we develop in your training planner, that's something that you could do. So that's the training planner package. The second one is the lineup simulator package. We could create up to 11 different players and put them into the lineup simulator. So if you want to build a team in five seasons and you want them to look something that you don't have right now, you could create those random players and put them in the lineup and see what your uh, ratings will be, which is pretty cool. Uh, use the results of the training planner to simulate the future ratings that you could have awesome. And for non-supporters, we could have the weather effect estimations. Uh, you could have a drop down to change between uh, raining or cloudy and see how it affects your lineup. Uh, that's a nice feature. And also team spirit and team confidence estimation will have a slider that you could uh, uh, play with your uh, future uh, confidence or team spirit and see how it affects your ratings. Third package is the statistics package. We could have special events in the match uh, event stats. We will have a team of the week for division league and for a whole of hat trick. Power ranking history with a graph because right now we only see the power ranking of your team for this week and that's it. And also a new table for a series to show a total average of all the players, salaries, TSI, form, stamina and so on. And another note, a lot of people were asking to see who's their uh, top goal scorer for, for all the seasons, all time. Uh, Hattrick notes that that's something that a lot of people want, but it will take them too much time to uh, develop. So for now, they are putting this on the side, but it's definitely something they are aware of a lot of people wanting to be implemented. The first package is the federation improvements uh, to uh, introduce federation battle, like we have league battles, so, so uh, different federations could have a battle between them. Uh, and then uh, more statistics, more feed, uh, more activity stats. And the last one will be the transfer package. Here we will get a transfer listed uh, players that you could... Uh, 
see how the, the training estimation for them will look without subskill, so no skill trading here. Uh, seasonal report for your transfers, you could make notes for players, uh, additional prospect rules, so you could have uh, the players showing their... Uh, uh, skills up to 24 hours after the transfer is over, um, even if you didn't bid on the player. And for non-supporters, we'll have the ability, those are two very nice things, a specific start time for uh, for a transfer. So let's see, say you woke up in the morning and you want to put a player for transfer in the evening and you might forget about this. So you could put him on the transfer, but with a timer and the player will be on the re release to the, um, to the transfer list at the time that you specified. And an option to cancel a, a transfer if you had zero bid. So let's say you uh, mistakenly put the wrong player on the transfer bid, and you didn't have any uh, on the transfer list, and you didn't have any bids on the player. So you could tr uh, cancel the the transfer. So those are the five different packages. We have the training planner, we have the uh, simulator package, we have the statistic package, we have the federation package, and we have the transfer package. I have to say, I love some of the things like the uh, timer for transfers um, and canceling the transfer uh, from the transfer package. I love the uh, creative comes to player, custom player for your training planner. And but the one that speaks to me the most is the lineup simulator. Uh, both for supporters that you could uh, create custom players and see the lineup simulator and also how uh, random players could be uh, trained in the transfer planner. And also for the non-supporters, the ability to see the weather effect on your uh, future ratings or the different team spirit and team confidence um, for uh, for the uh, uh, rating simulator. So I'll definitely go and vote for this one. And up until now we had 543 managers voting in the in this vote and I encourage more managers to go and cast your vote. So those are the different uh, changes that could be done for the supporter package and for everyone else. I could say that one thing that I have suggested, and it's not implemented here, uh, but it's just something nice. I wanted, we have the attendance for uh, for your stadium, and I thought uh, we could have another interesting counter that will count how many uh, different managers uh, put have put your game in their live view. It's more interesting for the national teams because then an, a different national team could see, oh, we have 20 people or 200 people or uh, 1,000 people watching uh, this uh, match. And also maybe a different counter that just uh, could show how many um, different managers went uh, to your match page and saw a different page of yours. So uh, below the attendance, you'll have, oh, uh, 300 managers uh, checked my match. Just a, a cool thing. Another thing uh, that could be done is to integrate Twitch with uh, uh, with Hattrick for the for the live viewer because uh, if a Twitch streamer could say, "Oh, I'm streaming this match or this anti match," and a manager going to the match page and a live match page and saying, "Oh." this match is being streamed, they could click on a button and then uh, he could go to see uh, the Twitch stream or uh, the Twitch could be uh, embedded into the into Hattrick. That could be cool, but probably only wishful thinking. So that was the video. Uh, if you have interesting ideas that you'd like to add to the supporter package or to the overall package, please write them in the comments and for the next year I could include them uh, for the for the vote for the um, uh, new features and with all that being said I just have to say thank you so much for watching Hattrick it's more than a game it's a community I'm thrilled to be back and making content for you and thank you so much I'll definitely see you on my next video